your host of the evening, Jim Bowen. Nice having with us on this pre-Christmas bullseye. We're all excited and we're full of Christmas spirit. It's marvellous. So let's meet the first couple tonight who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Time Tees, Mickey and John Gray. Nice to see you. And John, how are you? All the way from? Newcastle. Newcastle. All the way up, up by A? North. We haven't had many Geordies on. You are Geordies, aren't you, from Newcastle? That's right. What do you do for a living, Mickey? I'm a Libra. Well, well, you, you're lucky to be working up there at the moment, aren't you? Right. And what about you, John? I work for a soft drinks company. Soft drinks? Yeah. Oh. What, are you a cleric? Or, or, or... Oh, no, on the, on the wagons. You drive the yeah, wagons? I drive them up. And, and you drop the stuff off and all the it. business? Pop, we used to call it, That's didn't we? it. That's Pop pie. How do you get the general knowledge bit? Do a lot of crosswords. Ah, you see. Crosswords, oh. that sort of thing. Yeah. Are you married, either of you, both of you? No. I am, yeah. You're married? Yeah. Well, he looks quite happy. Well, <laughs> uh, any children, John? Yeah, one. Two-year-old boy. Two-year-old boy, yeah. Do you play darts for the local team, Mickey? No, I play it as a hobby. You don't play for a pub or anything? No. no I see. Play as a... It's a lovely accent, that's a musical accent, that, isn't it? Nice to have you with us. Mickey, off you go over there. And John, right. in onto your little seat and we'll move on and welcome the second couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From London, Graham Tedder and Betty McClellan. Well, nice to see you. And Betty. How are you, Betty? You feeling all right now? Not too bad. <laughs> Good girl. Where are you from, both of you? Berkhamsted in Hertfordshire. Berkhamsted. The canal runs through there. What's the canal that runs through Berkhamsted? The Grand Union. The Grand Union, that's right. We pass it on the train going down to London, that's oh. it. What do you do for a living, Graham? Uh, I do demolition work. Demolition expert. And what about you, Betty? I'm a civil servant. Are you really? Can we ask what branch? Well, I'd rather you didn't, but if you really want to know, Go it's on. the Department of Health and Social Security. Oh, DHSS. Yes. Oh, well, yes. You'll be busy then at the moment, very won't you? Very busy. Keep yeah. him very busy. Is it your own company, Graham? Yes. Yeah? And do you, how many men do you have working for you? About a dozen at a time. Really? Yeah. That's, that's a headache, keeping them working, yes. I suppose, isn't it? It is these days. Listen, you, now, you've obviously had an accident there, haven't you? Yes. Tell us about it. Well, it was many years ago when yeah. I was 11 years old. Yeah. What and did you do? Uh, it was uh, a petrol can blew up. And what were you doing? On a building site. Yeah. Uh, one of their old fires. A group of young lads. You know. Yeah. Yes, nice to have you with us. Lovely to be able to talk about okay. that, Graham. It's smashing. Lovely, that. Marvellous. Betty, off you yeah. go to your little seat. And Graham, go and sit down over there. That's great. That's the second couple. Yes, why not? Why not? Right. Let's bring on the third couple who are going to play with us tonight on this wonderful game of balls. From Central, Peter and Steve Millington. Steve, how are you, boys? Fine, fine. All right. You f you're feeling right, confident, are you? You're feeling all well, right. I don't know you're doing. <laughs> but you're all right. You're enjoying the so far. So far. It's all right. Well, you've only been on a minute, so it's <laughs> nice and settled. Are you married, Pete? Yes, I am. Yeah. Andrew? Yes. Both married. Families? Yes. How many? Boy and a girl, too. Boy and a girl. No. Nothing. Nothing. Are you related? Brothers. brothers. You're brothers? Yeah. Aye. Yeah, you have a look of, you know. Aye. Well, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> How's your dark play? Average. Do you play for a pub? Um, I play as a, an enthusiastic amateur. If I see. And obviously you play a fair game to be to have even got on the game. What about your general knowledge? Obviously it's fairly good. Reasonable. Yeah. Get on. Do you read a lot? Anything I can get my hands on. Papers, anybody's. Are you one of these pathological readers? You mm. can just pick it up and All read it. Re that's great. That. What about uh, what about your living? What do you do for a living? I work at a motor dealer. Selling cars? Not selling them. Repairing. Bodging them up. No, repairing. <laughs> <laughs> you used to have the car, didn't you? you used to have that. My first car, it was two-tone black and rust, I remember it. It was a wonderful <laughs> car. Steve, off you go to your little seat. Over there, Pete. Smash it. Let's, uh, yes, all right, welcome him. All nice and relaxed. Super. All right. Come and have a look at the board. We're coming up to the end of the year, so I'll just refresh your memories very, very briefly. It's the bullseye dartboard with categories round it, and in these categories, bonus areas, to be won by the darts player. Just to remind all of you, especially the dart players, the bullseye is worth £200. Isn't that marvellous? <laughs> all right. Once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. We'll just remind you about that as well. Let's get on with it. Now, we arranged the order of play before we came into the studios tonight, and they're all sitting there ready to play the game. Right. The first questions are worth £30 each. So it's John to look at the board and choose a subject for Mickey. Sport, please. Sport. OK, Mickey. Sport he wants. And he's got it for you, and he's got a £50 bonus, so that's a good start for you. I think you're all right on this one, John. You're all right on this one. What is the first name of the tennis player, Borg? 
Beyond. It's absolutely right for £30. Well done. <laughs> now then, come on, Betty, choose a subject for Graham. Um, showbiz. Showbiz. All right, Graham. Here we go. Your mum wants a showbiz question. It's flashing to help you. It's there, £50 you've got before you answer the question. <laughs> right. Ooh, oh, Betty, I'm not sure about this. I'm really not sure about this. Who jumped to stardom in a leading role in Dr. No? I can tell you he, was, he, he had a number. He had three numbers behind his name. And he was an, it, it was an Irish first name, and it was Sean. Sean? Sean. Connery? Is right. Well done. That's marvellous. <laughs> You're like, you're all right. Give us a smile, you're all right. Steve, come on, choose a subject for Pete. Words, please. Words, all right. Come on, Pete, see what you can do for Steve. Relax on this first round. £30 bonus you've got, and here's your question on words. <laughs> Think about this one, Steve. What do actions speak? Louder than words. Is right. Absolutely right. £60. The score at the end of round one. John and Mickey with £80, Betty and Graham with £80, Steve and Pete with £60. We move on to round two. This time the questions are worth £50 each. A little bit more difficult and of course we've got less categories. Let's look at what remains. Food, places, affairs, that's current affairs, history, books, Great Britain and spelling. Right, come on John, subject for your partner. Spelling. Spelling, right. Flashing to help you. No problem. £100 bonus you've got. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Marvellous. I think you could well do this as well. To be stealthy or secretive is to be surreptitious. Can you spell surreptitious? S-U-R-E-P-T-I-T-I-O-U-S. What a pity. One R short. You know where the R was missing, don't you? It's S U double R E P T I T I O U S. Never mind, your dark playing partner did well. You've 180 pounds. Let's move on, Betty. Choose a subject. Food. Food. Right, Graham. Mum wants food. Flashing to help you. 50 pound bonus you've got. Well done. <laughs> 50 pound question on food. You will get this, Betty. Just relax. What's the meat used to make Wiener Schnitzel? The meat Veal. is right. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> Good girl. Come on then, Steve. What do you think for Pete? Affairs, please. Affairs. Current affairs we're looking for. Pete, for your partner, Steve. Is there £50 bonus you've got? And here we go, your £50 question on affairs. Yes, fine. How old is Her Majesty the Queen? 51. Is not right. Very, very close. Audience? 56 on April 21st this year. Right, at the end of that round gives us the scores. John and Mickey with £180, Betty and Graham with £180, Steve and Pete with 110 so it's all to play for as we go to round three. This time, the questions are worth £100 each. But we have lost a few more categories and they're that bit more difficult. Let's look at what we've got left on the board. We've got places, history, books and Britain. As we look at John, to choose a subject for Mickey. History, please. History. OK. Flashing for you there. £50 bonus you've got, and here's your £100 question on history. Could well do this, John, because you did say you read a lot. Which American coined the phrase the four freedoms? In Lincoln. 1941, he said it. Abraham Lincoln. It's not. I did say the year for you as well to help you. Sorry about that. It was F.D. Roosevelt. I did say 1941. You didn't get... Never mind. You're still all right. You're still well in with a chance for the next round. Betty, choose a subject for Graham. Places. Places. OK, Graham. In you come. It's flashing to help you. Take your time to get your bonuses. £50 bonus you've got. Well done. <laughs> Little bit of pressure now. Little bit of pressure now, isn't there? Never mind. Which ducal residence in Derbyshire is known as the Palace of the Peak? And it's something house. It's something house. I can tell you that. Derbyshire house. It's not. 
sadly, you'll, you'll kick yourself when I tell you, Chatsworth House. Never mind, we move on with £110 so far. Steve, choose a subject for Pete. Britain, please. Britain, all right. Great Britain, as we're now pleased to say we are. You got your £30 bonus. Well done. <laughs> Which famous potter is associated with the creation of the Etruria works near Burslem? Wedgwood? Is right for £100. <laughs> well done. Gives us scores. John and Mickey with 230, Betty and Graham with 230, and Steve and Pete came right back from the dead there. £240. So this is what we do to lose one of the two couples with £230. We ask the two dark players to come up to the hockey here and we take it's a sudden death. Nearest to the bull goes through to the next round. All right. So it's John up to the hockey first, please. I'm awfully sorry. Mickey to the hockey. Sorry, Mickey. Mickey to the hockey. One dart as near to the bull as you can go. And that's fine. It's in the first ring out. Stand here. Come and stand with me, Mickey. Come on, Graham. When you're ready, old son. Let's get nearer to the bull than Mickey. And he's done it. He really has done it. It's, it is closer. I assure you it's closer. So sadly, we've got to say cheerio to John and Mickey. Come on into the desk here. Really very, very close, wasn't it? Just closer, wasn't it? I know you knew it was. Nice having you. Honestly, boys. It's been marvellous having you with us. Have the bullseye darts and the pen there. And you've £230. Now, these are in tens. I think there's... I better count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to check that? No, I've trusted you. trust me, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the first round. This Do you realise the first round people going out? 200, 10, 20... Thirty pounds. Has it been no, worth your coming? It certainly has, yeah. And it's been lovely having you because you've been two right grand lads. Put that in your pockets. Have that courtesy of Central. Put Great. it away. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Give them a nice round of applause. Look at all. Well done. Well, 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 well. So, uh, three couples tonight are going to have a super Christmas, aren't we? We've still got two left. And here in the next part of the game, we use a traditional match play dartboard. <laughs> Just to remind you what goes on here, we ask the two remaining dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other. The highest scorer in each round wins for his partner a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. Now then, boys, it's pounds for points. OK, Graham, up to the hockey. As many as you can for a question for your partner. Come and stand with me, Pete. It's over to Tony. First round, Graham's a throw. Single five. It's trouble 20. And another trouble 20, that's 125. <laughs> A lot to do. 125 to beat. Single five. Single 20. And another five. That's 30 scored. First round to Graham. Wait, wins a question for Betty. Worth £125. The decoration OM is limited to 24 eminent men and women. What do the initials OM stand for? Order of Merit. Is right for £125. <laughs> well done. 355 three, five plays 240. We're moving to round two. Over to Tony. And once again, Graham throwing. Single five. Single 20. Another 20, that's 45 for Graham. Pete with 45 to beat. Single 18. Another 18. And a 16. That's 54. Second round to Pete. OK, question for Steve. And this is worth £54, Steve. Which very large member of the bird family is unique in having only two toes? A heron? It's not, so we can offer it to Betty. And it's worth £45 to you, Betty, if you can tell us which very large member of the bird family is unique in having only two toes. The ostrich. The ostrich is right for £45. <laughs> £400 plays £240. Over to Tony for round three. 
And the final round, it's Graham to throw. Single five. Single five. And that's treble 20, that's 70 for Graham. And Pete, moving to the hockey. 70 to beat. Single five. Single nine. And single 20, that's 34. Third round to Graham. Right, Betty, here's your question. It's worth another 70 pounds. Part of which English county is known as the Dukeries because it contains so many stately homes? The Dukeries. Which county? Bedfordshire. It's not. It was a very intelligent guess, actually. Now then, come on, Steve. For £34, the Dukeries. In Sussex. It's not, and I know why you're thinking that, because of the royal family being there. It's, in fact, Nottinghamshire. Never mind, at the end of that round, Betty and Graham have £400, but we've got to lose Steve and Pete. They've done very well, £240. Come on, boys. Well done, lads. Well done. Well done. You were great there. You really were super. You've got here two bullseye tankards, which are all engraved. You've got the darts and the pen and £240. So it's been worth your coming, hasn't it? You'll spend a few bob there at Christmas, won't you? Make a fuss well, of the family. So. We'll see you in a couple of throws. Well done. <laughs> Take those without a coffee. part two of this special bullseye. Now then, we're going to bring on stage probably the most famous figure in darts at the moment. Please welcome, all the way from Scotland, Chucky Wilson! <laughs> Hello. 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 Nice to see you. It's nice to see you again, Jim. Tell us about the year you've had. I've, it had really I've had a great year, Jim. No, I mean, I won the British professional at the tail end of last year. That's right. Won the British Open in January. Yeah. Then I won the World Professional. What more can I ask? Well, I mean, incredible. The only thing I can ask for is to be number one. I'm number two at the moment, but I'm not complaining well, about that. we're working hard at it anyway. We'd like you to give a nice warm round of applause to Jock as he throws for charity tonight. Jockey Wilson. Go on, sir. So is Jockey, world and British professional champion. Oh, Single five. Big Treble seven, 21, 45 scored. <laughs> Still six stars. The jockey a lot to do with six stars. Single 20. Another 20. And that's a treble 20, 100. <laughs> jockey then, 145, three to go. Single 20. Another 20. And that's another 20, that's 205. Well, I wouldn't apologise to us. Always nice to have you on the show. We'd like to bring the couple in who chose the charity. Tell Jockey about the charity tonight, you two, because uh, we know it's something particularly <laughs> special to you. Go on. Tell us about um, it. It's for a local hospital, West Hearts in uh, Hemel Hempstead, yeah. and it's for a brain scanner machine. Right, right. So the money really is going to a worthy yes. cause. I'm sure you'd like to thank this gentleman who's got for you tonight oh, £205. Pounds. Thank you. He's a lovely fella, he really is. Jockey Wilson, privileged to have you on the show. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, warm Malibu. <laughs> Uh, it's all downhill now for you, isn't it? You never thought you'd get to this stage, did you? You really yeah. didn't. It's lovely to have you here. Now then, Bullseye Star Prize Board. You'll never forget it for the rest of your lives. Come and have a look at it, and I'll explain to you what to do, but as I said to you, you're over the worst now. Come and look at this. It's a test of memory as well as skill, of course. And I'll just refresh your memories. It's black segments and red segments, and in every red segment, we've got some super prizes. In one, a cut glass brandy decanter and matching glasses on a gallery tray. In two, for the festive season, a hamper full of Christmas fare. In three, a 14-inch colour portable TV set with its own aerial. In four, a lady's nine-carat gold necklace. In five, for the children, a traditional wooden rocking horse. In six, a gentleman's sheepskin car coat. In seven, a traditional 25-piece old Country Roses dinner service. In eight, 
25 of the finest Havana cigars. And Bully's special prize this week, what every woman dreams of, a full-length Scandinavian mink coat. Now then, nine great prizes. We're giving you nine darts, six for Graham and three for Betty. OK, try and remember the prizes. Little rhyme, keep out of the black and in the red. You get nothing at all for two in a bed, so once you've hit a red, keep out of it. And don't forget Bully's star prize on this special show. All right, in you go, Graham, and it's over to Tony. And it's Graham throwing for the prizes. First three darts. That's the ball! <laughs> Marvellous! <laughs> That's the mink coat! Dear, dear me, what is that? That's red, it's number seven. That's the dinner service. Red again, number two. That's the Christmas hamper. So what a marvellous start. Three on three. In you go, Betty. Keep out of the ball. <laughs> super that, super that. So Betty with three darts, she'll have to be careful. Keep away from the ball. She doesn't have to hit that ball. It's all right, it's all right. Red, number oh, four. Oh, that's a lady's gold necklace. Oh, unlucky. It's in the black. OK, it's great. In you go, Graham. Don't worry, I'll do that so for you, cos it's Christmas. Not to take the darts. <laughs> <laughs> Still, three more darts. What doing now, it's it's Graham it's throwing them. That's red number three. Oh, that's the portable colour television. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> red again, number five. That's the rocking horse for the family. A marvellous prize, that, for the kiddies. What to throw. Oh, dear. One more dart. Red again, six, number the six! Court. <laughs> Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won the Christmas hamper, the portable colour television, the lady's gold necklace, the rocking horse, the gent sheepskin coat, the dinner service, and Bully's star prize, a super full-length mink coat. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, what a super show this is turning out to be. Now we'd like you to consider a gamble. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Gamble those few prizes you've won there. Not a lot there, is there? A <laughs> couple of prizes. You can gamble those for tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. All we want you to do is score 101 or more with six darts. Three for Betty and three for Graham. And you've got the time it takes that board to revolve to tell us what you want to do. Now, I know it's a big decision, this. You're going to have to think a long time about this, whether you gamble or not, aren't you? What are you going to do? Take what we've got. <laughs> I should think you're going to take what you've got. And you have won, in fact, all those prizes there. £400 in cash. The £205 jockey won for you for the brain scanner, which we're delighted about. A lovely couple, ladies and gentlemen. As they go off with that wealth of prizes, give them a nice, warm <laughs> Christmas round of applause. <laughs> Well, 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 dear me, that was tremendous, wasn't it? So we bring back now the couple who came second, and we bring back Steve and Peter and ask them about the gamble. <laughs> and Steve, well, now, what do we do? You have £240 in your hand. You want to gamble that £240 for tonight's star prize? Hiding behind Bully. 101 or more, three darts apiece. What do you think? We're quite happy with what we've got, aren't we? They're quite happy with what they got, so they're not gambling. Give them a round of applause as they go off. Well done, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether the world's ready for this or not. So we move on, and we move to the first couple who left us about 25 minutes ago, John and Mickey, and asked them if they want to gamble. Bring them back on <laughs> What do you think, boys? You know the score. Ah, uh, it's a big decision. Well, well, it's too we'll, we'll I think you're probably right. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to go for the gamble. £230. Have you got the money? Yes. yes hang on a minute, hang on a minute. No, we do this properly. No, I, I trust you. You trusted me earlier on. I know there was a tennis shot when I counted it out to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll keep yeah. this for now. You get it back if you win, of course. Non dart player first, right? And it's three each, 101 or more. And we really are rooting for you on this. Christmas, well, nearly Christmas special. And for tonight's star prize, John to throw the first three darts, needing one or one or more. It's five. Single 20. 
Well, that's out the board. That's 25 scored, leaving 76 for Mickey. Single 20. That's treble one, unlucky. Oh, so near yet so far, but that's the gamble. Never mind. Come and have a look at it, lads. You were very close. Come and have a look at what it would have been. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you were a quarter of an inch away. Never mind. It's been a super show, really. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to the incredible Jockey Wilson, Tony Green. Well, what can you say? Watch us next week, because the day wouldn't be the same, would it, without a bit of bullying. God bless.